There is a saying that goes, every child has the same right to learn technology regardless of their gender to be more fair and equitable. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To Honorable Professor Dr. Agung Dharma Sakti, SPA DAA, as the Chairman of Raja Ali Haji Martin University. To Honorable Mr. and Mrs. as the Judges Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2023. To Honorable Steering Committee and Committee of the Event. And the big honorable for all participants, Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2023. First of all, let us praise and thank the presence of Allah SWT for the abundance of the grace and the joy. All of our kinds can still gather in this place without any barriers and at all in a good health for this. Salam and salam, don't forget we send to big prophet Muhammad SAW who brought their ummah, their people, from the dark age to the era of bright light today. And I hope we all get the intercession on the end for Amin Ya Rabbal Alamin. Before the speech, let me introduce myself. My name is Firman Gani. I'm a sophomore accounting student at Raja Ali Haji Martin University. So, on this occasion, allows me to stand here to deliver a couple of sentence speech about Sustainable Development Goal or SDGs. So, without any further ado, let's start to begin my speech. What are the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs? The Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs is otherwise known as the Global Goals are the universal call to action to end the poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people can enjoy peace and prosperity to at the end. The 70 goals will want the success on the Millennium Development Goals or MDG, while including the news area such as climate change, innovation, sustainable contribution, and peace and justice among other priorities. The goals are interconnected. Often, the key to success one will involve talking issues more commonly associated with another. The SDGs are inclusive agenda. The tackle in the road because the property and united us together to make a positive change for both people and the planet. In 17 point of SDGs, I will take one point that is about the gender equality. So today, I would like to tell you about the five the sustainable development goals, which is the gender equality, and the importance of the providing education for children through the technologies. As we all know, the education is the fundamental right for every children, regardless of their gender. However, in the many parts of the world, girls or boys are still needing access to education due to various research such so poverty, cultural norms, and the lack of resources. This is where technology can play a significant role in the answer that every children, including the boys or girls, and the children have to access the quality education. Technology has a revolution the way we learn and has made education more accessible than ever before. With the help of technology, children can access education material from the anywhere at any time. They can learn at their own pace and in their preferred style, which will make learning more fun and engaged. Moreover, technology can also help overcome children's barriers in the preference girls or boys for attending school. For the example, in many children's, girls are expected to stay at home to take care of household calls. By providing education through technology, girls can learn from the comfort of their homes while still following their domestic responsibilities. Therefore, it is crucial to ensure that every children, regardless of their gender, have the access to technology based on their education. Government, NGOs, or the other stakeholders must work together to ensure that technology based education is available and affordable for all. We must also ensure that the curriculum is designed in a way that is inclusive and free from the gender bias. Therefore, through my creative idea, innovation website based application design, management, and scholarship information achievement, integrated and inclusive training in order to improve the quality education of Rio Island students in supporting the success of the four SDGs goals to be able to build quality education in my area in Rio Islands in accordance with the SDGs indicator. So, in conclusion, gender equality is not just human right, but it's also necessary for nation for a peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world. So, this is the end of my speech. I apologize if in the delivering speech there has a mistake. So thank you for your attention. I'm very uh, big grateful and big honor to be being of the most outstanding student in my uh, university. So assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and see you next time.